One, 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 two, three, two, three, two, one. Worst thing ever. Hello, everybody. Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome, one and all. We are back with Legion Suit Larry 3. We are playing as Passionate to Patty. Oh, and even changed the little uh, title up there from Legion Suit Larry to Passionate Patty. That's kind of cute. It's rescue time. Legion Suit Larry has gone. He disappeared to the bamboo thicket because he got all butt hurt. And we are here to unhurt his butt. Unhurt my butt, say you love me again. Sorry, you find yourself clear of the bamboo maze at last. You are standing behind a swift, cold mountain stream filled with beautiful, clear water. Well, that seems like an invitation to grab some water if ever I heard one. Drink water. Uh, there we go. Please tell me I get points for this. I'm not just splashing bacteria into my face and piranhas. Nice. You find the stream's water remarkably refreshing without a trace of caffeine. And I threw my bottle away, so I don't have anything to take any water with me, but hopefully we will not need it. Now, my memory of the game is pretty hazy from here on out, so I'm going to try and do the best from memory. You are at the edge of a dramatic cliff. The river beside you hurls itself over the edge, forming a spectacular waterfall and disappearing into the canyon below. Uh, let's see. These flowers look important. See nothing special. Look, vines, maybe? Uh, and usually shaped rocks and plants. None of which will help you. Uh, get vines. This rock looks important. Because I think I need to sort of careen down below. The rock near you has cylindrical top strongly resembling a boat tied down. Okay, so let's do this. Let's remove our hosiery. Good, okay. So tie hose to rock I think works. Yeah, okay, we got this. You remove your pantyhose, tie one leg to the tip of the large rock, tie the other around your waist, and lower yourself carefully over the edge of the cliff. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. All right, Patty. You hope these are support hose. I get it. Okay. You lower yourself, an experience not wholly unfamiliar to you, over the sheer side of the canyon wall. You play your full weight supported only by a pair of run-filled pantyhose. How you wish you changed to a clean pair this morning. All right. How do I do this? Oh. Okay. Here we go. We can do it. Oh, I like how the support hose little part in the middle shows up. That's cute. Uh, this is... Oh, no, your pantyhose broke. Oh, I'm going to die. Please don't die. Oh, my. Oh, my. I'm alive. You slowly recover from your near tragic pantyhosing and try to remember why you are here. Of course, it's Larry you're seeking. You bring yourself back to your feet, ready again to resume your quest for the man of your dreams. Patty, can you stand up? There you go. Oh, I've left two little indents in the ground. Two small depressions indicate your landing point. Oh, it's doing that reverb thing. There we go. That's better. Nothing a little restart won't fix. Now, I remember as a child, I didn't... Mm, you'll recognize these little um, silhouettes in the foreground. Hmm. Dr. No Nookie, the evil genius that your Leisure Suit Larry defeated in looking for love in several wrong places, planted this garden many years ago. He must have used a helicopter for harvesting. Hmm, okay, so these are the pot plants belonging, belo yeah, belonging, belonging uh, to Dr. No Nookie, the recently deceased Dr. No Nookie. Ah, uh, you bend over and gather a few choice products from Dr. No Nookie's garden of unearthly delights. They're very earthly, they're plants. How much more earthly can you get? Legalize it. Are you sure this is something you should be doing? Hmm. Come on. Don't be stigmatized, Patty. There it is. Marijuana. Patty, shame on you. Don't you know marijuana is illegal? What are you planning to do with this stuff? Uh, well, A, I don't think we're in the U.S. territory, so its legality is probably something of a contest. And given the tribal nature of it, it's probably well embraced. So, yeah. Let's, uh... No, it doesn't know what toke is. Okay, well... Uh, have marijuana cigarette. All right, you can tell the game to smoke pot, and there you go. You quickly dry a few leaves in the sun, pull out a pack of rolling papers from your bra, hmm, and uh, place the leaves in the paper while professionally executing a one-handed roll. Gather a couple of rocks, you slap them together until they make a spark that ignites your joint. Beautiful. This is not going to end well for us, I know, because it's, it's, it's the, uh... It's the just say no era. Whoa, what's happening? This stuff makes you feel like you're floating. Yep, right over the edge. Looking down, you notice the ground seems far below you. Hey, cool, dude. You see visions of Daventry. <laughs> Sounds like uh, 
Trial by fire music. Oh, bogus. This is stuff wearing off already. Bob Saget! <laughs> Remember, Patty, next time, just say no. <laughs> oh, my. Da, wop, wop, wop. She's like a little patty fish. Wop, wop, wop. Just say no. Oh, man. That really backfired on the country, didn't it? Okay, uh, what do we do? I have... Well, it's been known that I can weave the flowers into a lay. So maybe I can I can weave the pot into um, hemp rope. Uh, weave hemp? Does it know what that is? Ah, it does know what that is. Cleverly remembering that a original legal use of marijuana was the manufacture of hemp rope. You take the marijuana you harvested and carefully weave it into a rope. Fortunately, you pick so much that your rope is just slightly longer than the distance across that chasm over there. How nice. In other words, our little Muhammad Ali has made her own dope -a rope Aren't you the clever one? Yay! Okay, now we can cross the rope. Yeah, the rope, the canyon, with the rope, with the canyon. All right, this is another one of those times that once we were super close to the edge, so let's, uh, nah. There we go. All right, it was just toying with me. Oh, come on, Patty. Use them arms. Let's do it. What is that sound effect? Giving it everything you've got, you hurl the rope as hard as you can. Huh. Yeah, we did it. We lassoed that rock on the far side of the canyon. So let's tie it off. Tie rope to tree. That should do it. Beautiful. Although your previous experience with knots has been limited to fashion accessories, plus a few weekends spent on yachts and ports around the world serving as deckhand al natural, you tie the rope to the palm tree as securely as you can. All right, let's do it. This is going to... Oh, you wrap your long, delicate pianist fingers and your long, delicate pianist legs around the handmade rope, squeezing your legs tightly together. That experience will learn familiar to you. You can move out over the canyon. Oh, I gotta do this manually, don't I? Oh, well, well, well. Isn't this another fine mess you've gotten us into? Now you're hanging by your hands and knees from a rope woven from marijuana stems suspended high above a tremendously deep chasm. We got that. Speed this up a little bit. Excuse me, birdie. Your hands are rapidly tired from holding your body's full weight on the rope. Uh oh. Oh, you're having trouble keeping your knees together. Our experience is only not familiar to you. Oh, Patty. Oh no! I must have forgot something. Remember Christopher Reeves? Wow, too soon. If only you had some way to secure yourself to the rope. Your hands have a certain skills, but rope grasping is not one of them. Ah, uh, okay. Let's try that again. Whoops, you carelessly throw your marijuana to the winds. Well, let's get some more of that. Okay, uh... So I need some sort of, like, fabric or something, or something I can tie myself to the rope with? Bra might work, but... Uh, I think what I need to do is tear my dress. I might be wrong. Yay, okay, I can do that. Good idea, Patty. You discreetly remove approximately eight inches from the hem of your dress. Just enough so when you climb onto your rope, you have a safety harness for security. So let's see if that's automatic. It didn't mention anything about using that safety harness. Uh, oh, here we go. You feel certain your informal safety harness will help you pass safely over this canyon, but are your feelings correct? In fast motion. Blah, 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 blah. Your improvised safety harness works. You feel you may be able to make it all the way across. All right, excuse me, bird. Pardon me, Mr. Vulture. There'll be no meal for you today. Fly away. You did it, Betty. But now you wonder if there was something you forgot before you left. Well, of course, you can always take the rope back again. Is this where it's going to snap? Yep, there it goes. Patty, you're not around the palm tree. came loose. Now there's no way for you to turn back. <sighs> Lame. All right, well, can I take the rope? I might need that. Your rope is hanging from the rock, but at such an angle and so near the edge of the cliff that you dare not take it. Well, here we are, and here we'll stay, I guess. If I forgot anything, it's going to be a long trip back. Hmm. Where are we now? I don't see any danger. There's danger. Look out! Oh, what what a, what just happened to me? I just got smashed by a warthog wearing a bow tie. Once again, Patty, you find yourself being porked. Oh no experience on holding up for you too. Okay. Yo. Ah, uh, that's new. Oh. You know what? I think I did forget something. I need a weapon. And the only weapon I have, uh, it's I don't know how you're supposed to figure this out on your own, but I guess ingenuity will kind of point you in this direction. There you go. You can climb this tree, and I think you can get some coconuts from the top of it. From way up here, you can see all the way across. Across the canyon, you catch a glimpse of a running water and flashes of pink through the jungle growth. 
Uh, get coconuts. Uh, is that how you spell coconuts? I thought that was. Uh, reaching beneath the palm tree's frond kilt, you grab a pair of large brown hairy nuts. No experience. Yeah, yeah, we got that. So you jailed a lot of Scotsmen, did you? All right, that being done, I think we have what we need to arm ourselves. I like how the positions of the birds are kind of randomized. That's kind of a cute little touch. All right, that being done, uh, here's what we do, kind of David and Goliath style. So first of all, let's get our bra off. There we go. Free and easy. Beautiful. So now we can put the coconuts in the bra and make sort of like a makeshift sling. Put nuts in bra. Let's see if that's just kind of a shorthand enough. Uh, hmm. Make sling? No. There we go. You just got you have to actually say coconuts instead of just nuts. Good idea. You are now holding a bra containing a pair of heavy coconuts. Now what? Okay. Now we save. Let's get close enough for the boar to come at us. Okay. Uh, you uh, I can't. Nope. That didn't work. Uh, sling nuts at boar. Uh, well, what else is it? A pig? Was this a pig? Uh, see, it is a boar. Use bra. Damn it. Whoa, parser system. Why do you hate me so much? Okay, okay. So we're on the right track. We just need the system to sort of accept what we want to do. Okay. All right. Damn it. Why can't I spell coconuts properly? Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. The feral pig just grunts and snorts, laughing at your attempts to pass. I'm not. I'm trying. Uh. Oh. I can be far enough away from him where he just doesn't care. All right, so if I don't get too close, it's fine, I guess. The feral pig is successfully preventing you from proceeding. He looks mean, better not to get too close, Patty. I wonder if this is like a reference to something. All right, I still don't know what it wants me to do. I'm just, use bra, no, uh, throw bra. Oh, that works. Did I say throw bra at pig? Did I not? Let's check the footage. Whatever. And... Boge! Good. Suck it, pig. You did it, Patty. Your 36C bolas have done its duty. But have you noticed you're running dangerously low on clothing? Hmm. I have a feeling that's exactly what the developers are counting on. Patty? Pa Patty? You're gonna be a buddy. Oh, I go up. Mm-hmm. A roaring river rushes by. It looks too deep to wade across and too rapid to swim. How will you proceed from here? Well, that log looks like it should be something. Uh, get log. Yeah, just take what you need. A big hunk of timber. You don't need to take the log. Can I ride it? Not close enough. Oh, can I enter this water? Will it kill me? All right, my legs are still there. That's good. Yes, I, yes, I am close enough. There we go. There we are. Let's go. You mount the gnarly log at experience. Yeah, we expected that. Let's go. Let's go. Oh uh, boy, this is fun. Sitting on a log mired in the mud at the river bottom. Oh, okay, so it's stuck. Uh, push log. A uh, good idea, but difficult to do when you're sitting smack dab on top of your log. Okay, so get off log. There we go. Ugh. Oh yeah. Ugh. Ugh. All right, ride log quick before it goes away. There we go. Now we got the points for it. Let's roll. The current has taken your, you and your log downstream towards your Larry. Yeah, where the fuck is Larry anyway? Is this the arcade section? Yeah, it sure is. All right, I think I can do it. Oh God, well, no. The first thing I do is die. Don't I just hate arcade? Yeah, I kind of do. All right, I will not give up. I'm gonna turn the speed way down, but I am not going to acquiesce and go calmly into that good night. Here we go. Let's slow it down a little bit. There we go. I think this actually goes pretty quick, but there we go. Um, don't be. Thank you. Whoa. Okay, that's a little fast. And you get this nice little blue grass there, 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 there as you go along. Let's go. Whoop, please. Very Oregon Trail this part. Uh, All right, I got distracted because the game was giving me like one point every second. I don't know what happened there, 
but it distracted me, and I was halfway there, and I kind of died a little bit. Let's do it again. Take, what, three? All right, I figure out where those that point noise was coming from, because every time I dodge a, uh, a, a thing, uh, it gives me a point. Oh, God, alligator, hi. Um, what? 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 What just happened? Was there a tuber in the river and that was my worst nightmare? Anyways, so every time I dodge something, I get a... I'm gonna stop talking for a while. Oh, children were my worst nightmare. That's... God dick. Yeah, yeah, I know I'd make it. I'm not... No, yeah, no big deal. NBD. But now, what lies ahead? I'm just kidding. That was the most frustrating. God, first day I've had to do all three. Never want to do that again. But I think we're in the home stretch. You finally make your way past all the obstacles and arrive at a pleasant little clearing. This may be a good spot to take a short rest. You look for a place to beach your trusty log. Uh, Patty, time to be decisive. Come on, find a spot. Oh, oh, new! Look out! It's too late to say that. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to drown. Oh, and now I'm dead. Well, I said, no, I don't think I have. What have they done to you, Patty? Patty, are you okay? Do you want to come up for air? There you are. Great. Bob Saget! You've been captured by none tonight's famous tribe of Amazonian women, lesbian, camel natives. Cam camel? That was pretty close. Now what will you do? How will you ever find your Larry? I have a feeling we're going right to them. On the other hand, where do they find such stylish outfits way out here in the wilderness? Oh, there are guys here. Oh, we're being whipped. Okay. Ooh, roll reversal. Good to see. Waka! Can we enter the scene? Or do you have to wait for everyone? Knocked unconscious, securely wrapped in Amazonian women cannibals' net. You hang over their shoulder like a sack of potatoes in an army mess. Oh, Patty, where will they take you? What do they do to you? What will happen to you? And will there be a hairdresser available to... Yeah, yeah, sexism fun. You are jostled through the village, paraded about the square, handled roughly, battered and bruised, then placed inside a cage made of bamboo and leather. An experience not wholly unfamiliar to you. You finally recall a blind date when you were at Juilliard. As you slowly regain consciousness, the blackness leaves your brain and realize you are no longer tied up in a net, but something tells you you are no longer alone. Hey, there it is! Larry, it's, it's you! you. It looks like I'm wearing a straight jacket. Oh, oh Patty, I, I missed you so. That is a huge pot we're dangling over. Oh, Larry, I just couldn't believe you left. You couldn't believe how it felt to have finally found a perfect match and then have you disappear into thin air. I awakened to an empty bed, rushed to the balcony, and saw you disappear through that horrible bamboo forest. So I started out after you, and I, and I found you. We're together again at last, and this time to stay. But tell me, Larry, why did you go? Whatever caused you to leave like that? You, you did, Patty. After the most fantastic night of my life, just as I was drifting away into a blissful sleep, I heard you murmur one word. Arnold. Why, Patty? If I'm so special, why would you speak someone else's name? Weren't you thinking of him while we made love? Oh, Larry, you wonderful, fragile fool. I was thinking of him because I was trying to figure out how to tell him I was going to leave him for you. Patty, I am a fool. Oh, but what's the difference? At last we understand. We both feel the same for each other. We'll be together for the rest of our lives. Our very short lives. Speaking of which, uh, did you come here to rescue me, didn't you? Uh, did you have some sort of plan? You didn't travel all this way just so you could join me for dinner in their stomachs, did you? Um, uh, sure, uh, wait a minute. Um, I'll, I'm sure I'll think of something. You better think fast. I think these gals have something cooking. It's gonna be us. At last, you're again with your Larry, but under such circumstances. Let's see, look at the pot. Between the bamboo poles, you see your future coming to a short boil. Hmm, swing key, that always works. Throwing things won't help. I'm not throwing anything. Uh, push cage. Mm, it's too massive. You'll need more than ordinary means to escape this cage. Uh, oh, Mordax here. Oh, crap. He's going to steal our castle, isn't he? Or she, rather. Larry, look! What's that witch doctor doing? Uh, gyrating from the looks of things. 
Uh, let's just kiss Larry one last time. You're so glad you're back together. Well, uh, come on. If you're gonna, that's it. We're finished. Yeah, come on. Oh no, this is gonna be painful. Oh God, boiled alive. Oh, the jeez, that's got to be a bad. How deep does that go? Boy, you two stewed. Mark my words, Patty. Sometimes you must fight magic with magic. Ooh, I like that little hint. Magic with magic, eh? Okay, so use magic marker. Larry, I don't know if this will work or not, but the only thing I can think of is this magic marking pen I picked up back at the lounge. Let me see if I can draw us a way out of this mess. I love that this works. <laughs> and of course, you draw and exit. This is wonderful. Patty, you did it! At least you did something. What is that? A, a magic door? I don't know, Larry, but from the looks of things hereabouts, I don't want to stay around here. Come on, let's get out of here. I'm right behind you, honey. Stay on the other side. Whoop! Bob Saget! Patty! Well, time to go through the mysterious door of doom backwards. Oh, folding yourself in half the other way. That doesn't look pleasant at all. Yeah. Bob Saget, I'm falling. <laughs> this is going to be our explosive throughout the rest of the game. Larry, what happened? I don't know. You tell me. You're the one with the magic marker, you doof. I don't know, Patty, but it feels like we just fell out of the game. The question is, where will we end up? Oh, good. Meanwhile, back at the Sierra Studios, workers are busy filming yet another exciting episode of the never-ending saga of Sunny Bonds and the citizens of Lytton, or Lytton, California, USA. Looks like the paper boy set down there. Quiet on the set, please. Music. Light. Camera. Action. I love this little beyond the scenes look. It's like there's the cop car. It's just controlled by little magnets underneath. That's just so cute. I love it. We have a need falling completely out of the game and now are just about to land in like meta central. Craig, look! Look out! Get out of here! Blah. Oh no, you've crashed a hole in California. Oh well, they'll never notice there's earthquakes all over the place. Ugh. Watch out, Godzilla Lario, you'll destroy the city of Lytton! I think all things considered that went really well. Wow, some guys really know how to make an entrance. Okay, staggering to his feet, Larry surveys his new surroundings. Larry spots you lying motionless on the floor beneath the miniature city of Lytton. Patty, are, are you okay? So we're still playing from passionate Patty's point of view, which is cute. I, I guess so. If I keep this doing my own, st but if I keep doing my own stunts like this, I'm gonna end up flat-chested. Come on, Larry, let's get out from under here. I think the rest of the game kind of plays itself, but it's it's kind of cute. I kind of like this. But what is this place, Larry? A good question. Although it does seem familiar. You take the lead, Patty. Let's explore. Hey, oh, okay, no, I can, I can move around. I can look around at everything Sierra. We are in the Sierra Studios, as it were. This is how they film their games. You are backstage at Sierra Studios. From the looks of things, they are filming another in the series of Police Quest games. Or at least they were until you two dropped in. This is great. I wonder what else we have around here. Let, oh, okay, I can't go that way. Let's go to Studio C. This will work our way out. <gasps> oh, wow, it's like, that's like the bonus room in Space Quest 4. There's just like every unused asset. Well, not even unused asset, there's... Assets! Oh, let's look at everything. These must be the insurance salesmen from Space Quest 2, Volhall's Revenge. Yep, that's the sprite, all right. Let's see, they got the cauldron here from uh, King's Quest 2, most likely. That old tub from air very early. Oh, maybe it's Black Cauldron. Oh, these are Outlow game. Well, no, he didn't. Outlow didn't do uh, King's Quest, but there's still King's Quest stuff. What's this uh, gravestone here? Here lies the remains of the King's Quest 4 programming staff, 87 to 88. Cute. That big M doesn't stand for marriage, Patty. Nope, that is the M for Monolith Burger from Space Quest, well, three and four. I don't think it shows up in five, does it? 
No, we're at the space bar in five. This is great. What's over here? Acme Roman numerals. Oh, so they got the Roman numerals to slide onto the King's Quest sign because they reused it for so long. That's adorable. So that's how they did that taxi cab scene in Leisure Suit Larry in the Land of the Loud Lizards. Pick up a copy itself. We're a dealer near you. Love it. Just got like a little scroll. What are these outfits? This looks like something from uh, Conquest of the Longbow. Oh, these are worn by the Murrays. Oh, in the famous Manhunter games. I've never actually played that, but I've seen it played. It looks really hard, but it's also a game that takes itself a little bit too seriously. Look, uh, targets? Is that what they are? No, I don't know, whatever. So let's see if we can point out everything. Uh, this, that's a space quest. This is from Space Quest 1. Uh, D, what's this D? Uh... Don't know what that one is. God, I don't know what any of these are. There's no Heroes Quest stuff around here, or Quest for Glory stuff. That's sad. Whoa, here we go. We made it to the Space Quest. Uh, which one is this? One or two? Bob Saget! Now what? Okay, oop, we're weightless. Uh, okay, this... Wait, wow, which one is this from? Uh, it's... Space Quest 1. No, not up from 1. So this is from Space Quest 2. This is how this opens up. Uh, okay. Oh, I can steer myself. Okay, let's go turn off this magnet. Oh, yeah! Space Quest 2 Remix! Larry, do you want to come down? Uh, let's see. Turn off magnet. That's uh, that's the ticket. Uh, it must be upside down in order to reach the plug from where you are. Okay, so I gotta wait till I'm oriented right. Oh, I gotta pull the plug. I see. Pull plug! Got it. Oh, Larry? Uh, you might want to brace yourself for a second there, buddy. This is going to hurt. Okay. Look, Larry, I did it. The anti-gravity generator is unplugged. Wait a minute, Patty. If there's no anti-gravity... Oh, yeah. One of those scenes is... Okay. Ooh, Larry's got the wiggle and Patty just does this... Okay. Wow. Patty, that was a rough one. What's next in this little, little, uh, what is it? It's like a little amusement park. Oh, very nice. Truck that camera left. That appears to be Roberta Williams directing the infamous whale scene of King's Quest IV. Oh, this can only go badly. Oh, yes, tongue-in-cheek humor. Love it. Good, good, that's fine. Stop right there. Barks the woman in the director's chair. Now, Rosella, what do you say we take it again from the top? Uh, this time, really, show me some emotion with your back to the camera. And action. No, no, from the other side, Rosella, you have to go up in a diagonal. Rosella, you're gonna, there you go. Cut, no, that's no good. Try it from the right side this time. Oh, Rosella's pissed. All right, let's speed this up a little bit, and action. There we go. No, up and over. You gotta zigzag it. Zigzag, Rosella. No, cut. You slipped again, Rosella. Alright, this will just continue forever because this scene is ridiculously hard. Oop. Cut. How many times do we have to do this, Rosella? Get all the way up to the uvula. Uh, what's going on here, Patty? I don't know, Larry, but that girl seems tired of going down on that tongue. This just isn't right. It's too humid in here. This wool skirt keeps soaking up the water. That goo you spread on the tongue is too slippery. You haven't given me my motivation for the scene yet. Thank you very much, Rosella. If you have any other complaints, uh, don't let me stop you. Well, yes, I do. I thought this was a closed set. Who are those two people over there? Um, nothing. Uh, hi. Cut. Break. Ten minutes, people. And who are you? What are you doing here? How did you get in? Come over here. Right now. Uh, long story. As you move closer, you recognize the woman in the director's chair. Why, look! It's Roberta Williams! To her, you cry, Oh, Miss Williams, I, I've loved your games for years! What an honor this is to finally meet my software hero! This will melt her heart. Yeah, there he is. Well, yeah, I, I, I am Roberta Williams, but who are you? Well, Roberta, I'm Passionate Patty, world famous lounge pianist. The gentleman to your right is my lover. His name is Larry. Haha, <laughs> Larry Laffer. 
Well, nice to meet you both. But how did you get in here? This is supposed to be a high security area. Well, we just dropped in. Literally. Actually, Berta, we've been on one hell of an adventure just getting here. Why, I've been through a virtual maze of bamboo forest with one, just one drink of water, rappelled down a sheer cliff on my pair of pantyhose, crossed an incredible chasm with only a handmade rope, fought ferocious feral swine with my underwear, ridden a log through a whitewater canyon, and okay, okay, enough, enough. But w what about him? I, I, I've had a few adventures in my day, too. Oh, really? Um, anything that might make an adventure game? Why, of course it would, Bert! If you would just set us up with a little place to work, up to my reasonable standards, of course, I would write a whole series of adventure games for you. We could discuss this over lunch. I haven't eaten a thing this entire game. Oh no, am I two points short? Oh no, please tell me I'll find those two points. As the three of you head off together, Roberta says, We do have a home on the lake. Would that adequately meet your needs, Patty? And so it ends. Two points shy. Crap. Larry and Patty move in together, sharing a simple programmer shack in the mountains. Patty gives up her musician's life on the road for one man she found able to match her passion. Larry begins to tell the world of his life story through software. Oh, very nice. Let's see now. Um, it all begins in lost wages. Not a bad way to retire. Outside a bar named Louie's. No. Lois is, um, ugh, it's not right. Hey, Patty, give me the name for a bar. How about, uh, Lefties? That's good, babe. Maybe she could pile and test this. Let's see if my little Larry can go inside. Yeah, it seems to work just fine. You're doing great, Larry. Work that numpad. Oh, very nice. So, scene ends. Congratulations! You did it! You won! We hope you enjoyed Leader Suit Larry 3, Passionate Patty in the Pursuit of the Pulsing Air Pectorals. You, Larry, and Patty have certainly been through a lot together. You did an excellent job! What a score! Oh, I'm so mad. I thought I got everything. But in a game like this, it's really easy to miss, well, pretty much everything. So now, with Leisure Suit Larry 3 safely tucked under our belts, we can move on in the series to my absolute favorite, Leisure Suit Larry 4. I know I keep saying that 6 is my favorite, but 4, guys, 4 is actually one of the best adventure games that have ever been written. So I am super ultra excited to bring Leisure Suit Larry 4 to you next time. But for now, we'll leave Leisure Suit Larry and his girl, Passionate Patty, whose hair seems to have changed Yet again, unless it's wrapped up in some sort of a brown towel. Whatever happened to her, like, super long black hair? Now she's a short brunette. Is that Roberta Williams showing up there with her ass in the air? Well, whatever. Sip your martinis, guys. Relax. You've been through a lot. So, as always, with the moon over top of the Sierras, good night, jelly beans. Good night.